Here's everything you need to know about ProRes RAW and RAW in general when working with Emulate for Final Cut Pro. Before we start with decoding our RAW footage though, we should make sure our project is set up correctly. Before we do anything with our footage or with our project, we first need to make sure that our library settings are correct. To do that, I open the browser, go to my library, and here on the right hand side I click on modify. Here make sure that standard gamut SDR is selected. By the way, yes, this is the correct setting even if you're working with HDR, log or even raw footage. A year ago I made a full deep dive on that, so if you're interested in that I leave a link down below. Next select your project and click on modify in the top right corner again. If you have set up everything correctly, you shouldn't be able to choose any other color space than Rec. 709. So in my case, this here is grayed out, everything works fine. Last but not least, we need to tell Final Cut Pro what it is supposed to do when it encounters HDR or HLG footage. To do that, we go to the menu bar into Final Cut Pro and then settings. Here, under general, we want to make sure that HDR automatic color conform is selected. Now Final Cut Pro is set up to transform our footage automatically to Rec. 709. And by the way, no nothing will be lost, all of your dynamic range will be there. In this project here, I already have a look in place, so we are currently working under a look. The first thing we want to do is select our ProRes RAW clip, go to the inspector and inside the info tab. There, make sure you change the view from basic to settings. Then the first thing we want to turn off is the camera LUT. Basically, Final Cut Pro wants to be smart and wants to transform your footage to Rec. 709 automatically. To get the most out of Emulate, we don't want that, so we turn off the camera LUT. Next, we go into the ProRes RAW settings. The most important thing we need to consider is the RAW to lock conversion. And by default, it's set to S-Log3 as Gamut 3. For my personal preference, I want to set this to S-Log3 as Gamut 3.Cine. And while we're here, I think I want to drop my ISO to something more reasonable. Now we can close the ProRes RAW settings and come back to our clip. Here we apply the Emulate Grading and Match preset. If your entire timeline consists of, for example, ProRes RAW footage from Sony, you can take care of this next step at the timeline level inside the Emulate Camera section in the Look Designer. However, in my case, I'm mixing and matching different footage down here, so I need to take care of my color management at the clip level. Now it's important to remember our raw to lock conversion from earlier. We set it to slog3 as gamma3.cine. This means this piece of footage now behaves as slog3 as gamma3.cine because the ProRes RAW module in Final Cut Pro converts the RAW footage to this gamma and color space. And this is exactly what we need to choose in Emulate Camera. So in Emulate Camera, we go inside the drop-down menu, select Sony, and look for slog3 as gamma3.cine, because remember, this is what we set in the RAW to lock conversion in the ProRes RAW settings. And from here on, you can grade this clip however you want and you can treat it like any other piece of footage. Next, let's have a look at Red Raw. Basically, the steps are exactly the same. We are still working under the same look here. I select the clip, then I go into the info section. I want to make sure that settings is selected as my view here. And the first thing I want to take care of is the camera LUT. This is already set to none, so there is nothing that needs to be changed here. Next, I go into modify Red Raw settings. And here is everything we can control. To get the most out of this red footage, we want to change the color space to red white gamut RGB. Next, we want to change the gamma to log 3 G10. While we're here, I will select a somewhat more sensible ISO, like 1600 maybe? Yeah, I think that works out. Now I click on apply. We can now go back to the clip and apply the emulate grading and match preset. Here under emulate camera, we go into the camera dropdown, look for red and select log 3 G10 red white gamut. And just like that, everything is color managed. Again, if your entire timeline consists of red footage, then you can do this at the timeline level. But since I'm mixing and matching footage here, I need to do this at the clip level with emulate camera there. If you're working with any flavor of Canon RAW, the steps are always the same. Make sure the camera LUT is disabled and make sure that your RAW to log conversion matches what you choose in emulate camera. Unfortunately, I don't have any Canon RAW footage at hand. Though, to my knowledge, the Canon RAW plugin only allows you to change the RAW to lock conversion inside the inspector in Final Cut Pro. So right where you can select the camera LUT, 
there needs to be a setting for the raw to lock conversion. Then, as I mentioned before, just choose the same profile in Emulate Camera as your RAW to lock conversion and everything works out. If you want to work with any other kind of RAW with Emulate for Final Cut Pro, the steps are always the same. Unfortunately, when it comes to Blackmagic RAW, Final Cut Pro does not support it natively at the time of recording this video. To my knowledge, it's currently on Blackmagic to build the plugin for Final Cut Pro and yeah, I know it's a bummer. You can toy around with B-RAW Toolbox, but your mileage may vary. And if you want to know everything there is to know about all of the modules in Emulate, then you should watch this full walkthrough tutorial here.